prove f of x equals x squared is uniformly continuous on the open interval 0, 1. So proof. So before we can prove this, we actually have to figure out how to prove it. So uh, recall that f is uniformly continuous on 0, 1 if for all epsilon greater than 0, there is some delta greater than 0 such that for all x and y in the interval 0, 1 with x minus y less than delta, we have f of x minus f of y less than epsilon. So here f of x would be uh, x squared and f of y would be y squared. And we want this to be uh, less than epsilon. So if we play with this on the side, we should be able to come up with something. So this is the difference of squares. So we can write this as x minus y, x plus y. And the goal in our proof is going to be to show that this is less than epsilon. Well, x and y are special, right? They're in the open interval 0, 1. So they're both certainly less than 1, right? x is less than 1, and so is y. So x plus y, well, we can certainly say that's less than 2. So this is less than the absolute value of x minus y times 2. And then we want this to be uh, less than epsilon. So we know x minus y, that's going to be less than delta. So we can say 2 delta. And then here we want this, again, to be less than epsilon. So what we can do is we can take delta to be equal to epsilon over 2. So I hope I didn't do that too fast, but you kind of work backwards uh, before you actually just jump into the proof. All right, let's go into our formal proof uh, now. So we have to start the proof uh, by letting epsilon be greater than 0. And then we have to find the delta. Well, we did that before going into the proof. We said our delta was going to be epsilon over 2. So choose delta equal to epsilon over 2. Okay. Then for all x, y in the open interval 0, 1 with the distance between x and y being less than delta, we have and now we look at the difference. And now we're just basically basically going to repeat what we did in our scratch work. So you have x squared, but more formalized, minus y squared. Well, using the difference of squares formula and properties of absolute value, that's x minus y, x plus y. And we know this is less than delta, and this is less than 2. So this is equal to 2 delta. And we know something about delta. We said that delta was epsilon over 2. So this is equal to 2 times epsilon over 2. And these guys cancel, and so we end up with epsilon. And that completes the proof, right? We took an epsilon greater than 0. We found a value of delta such that whenever the distance between x and y was smaller than delta, the distance between f of x and f of y is smaller than epsilon. That's precisely what it means uh, for this function here to be uniformly continuous. That's it.